everyone, welcome back to the kitchen. Today I've got a special treat that's perfect for a long hot summer day. We're gonna make a deli style broccoli salad that you can throw together super fast. It's gonna last up to a week. You'll be able to eat off of it for days and everyone's gonna love it. Let's go see how this all comes together. Today we're going to be making some deli style broccoli salad. You guys may have seen this. Maybe you enjoy broccoli salad a lot. This is not a new idea or a new recipe, but I'm gonna share with you how I make this. Now, broccoli salad can be found hither and yon at just about every deli counter that you approach. Um, and it's all pretty much the same. It's got a very sweet and sour taste to it. It's very reminiscent of a lot of Amish food or Mennonite food where it has that real sweet and sour influence. So today we're gonna just make our own and this can keep in the fridge for up to a week and it's super delicious and I know you're gonna love it. It's also a really great way to get your kids to eat fresh broccoli. And if you're growing broccoli, this is a really great opportunity for you to use it in this recipe. Now I'm starting off with six cups of fresh broccoli. I purchased mine uh, at the grocery store in a bag so it comes as a bag of fresh florets and I cut it up even smaller. I just broke it up into small bite-sized pieces. If you prefer, you can blanch this before proceeding, but I don't do that. We're gonna just use it fresh. It'll be great and the longer it marinates in the dressing, the softer it will become. So six cups of fresh broccoli florets broken up into bite-sized pieces. Then we get into the good stuff. I have a cup of cooked crumbled bacon, a cup of toasted pecans that I have chopped, a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, a cup of sweet onions, a half a cup or so. I used a half of a sweet onion. This is a Vidalia onion. I just cut it up. You can use less onion if you like. I just cut up the whole half and that's what we're gonna toss in here today. A cup of dried cranberries. I really wanted to use a half a cup of dried cranberries and a half a cup of golden raisins, but I went to the pantry and I realized I was out of golden raisins. So today it's all cranberries. And that's the beauty part of this recipe. You can add or delete anything that you prefer or don't like. Next, we're gonna get into the dressing ingredients. We're gonna use a half a cup of good quality mayonnaise. I always use Best Foods or Hellman's or Duke's depending. A half a cup of good quality sour cream. I always use Daisy brand. We're gonna use two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. We're gonna use a quarter of a cup of granulated sugar and a half teaspoon each of salt, cracked black pepper, and celery seed. And that is all it takes. Okay, so to our broccoli, now make sure you have a large enough bowl because nothing is more sad than to fill up your bowl and then find out you don't have room to stir it. So in goes our pecans, our shredded cheddar cheese, if you prefer Monterey Jack or even Pepper Jack or whatever kind of cheese you like, add that instead. Our onion, our bacon, and our cranberries. And now all you have to do is give this a big stir and kind of make sure that you've distributed all of these ingredients really well. You wanna get them pretty well blended before we pour the dressing over because you get that part done first, it makes it a lot easier once the dressing goes on. And I love this kind of salad that actually has no lettuce and all, it has all stuff. This smells really good already and we haven't even put the dressing on it. Okay, now we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna build our dressing. So to build our dressing, we're just going to add everything into a bowl. In goes our mayonnaise, our sour cream. I'm gonna pop in our sugar. You can use less sugar if you prefer, our vinegar and our salt, pepper, and celery seed. This is very, very reminiscent of like a poppy seed dressing or anytime you have like a sweet and sour, creamy dressing, this is pretty much what you're gonna find in there. And now all we're gonna do is give this a bit of a whisk. Get everything nice and incorporated. Now I've used celery seed here, but if you switch that out for poppy seed, you would have a nice creamy poppy seed dressing right there to use on just about anything you like. Now let's bring our salad back and we're gonna pour our dressing over. And then all we have to do is mix this up really well. You don't want this drowning in dressing and the secret here is that the dressing is just enough to keep everything blended together and coat all of these ingredients. 
There won't be anything like sitting in the bottom of the bowl after we're finished. And when you transfer this to an airtight container, it's not gonna like sit and weep. And there we have it. Our broccoli salad is done. You can serve this immediately, which we're going to do, and we're gonna have Rick give it a taste, even though he's not the biggest fan of raw broccoli, or broccoli in general. But this is gonna get better the longer it sits. Like I said, keep this in an airtight container in the fridge. It's gonna be good for up to a week. This is perfect for sharing. It's perfect for taking to picnics, potlucks, and get-togethers, and everyone's gonna love it. It's a little bit different from your typical potato or macaroni salad. I'm gonna go put this in a pretty dish, and we're gonna serve it up for you. There's our broccoli salad all ready to serve. I just put it in a serving bowl. This is one of those things, you're gonna keep it in the container in your fridge. People are gonna come and eat off of it, take a scoop to have next to their sandwich, take a scoop to eat for their lunch, have it with their dinner. It's a great side dish and everyone's just gonna really enjoy this one. You wanna taste it? I have to. Like I said earlier, Rick, not the biggest fan of the broccoli in general, but I think he's gonna really love this. It's super delicious. Mm. I'll eat the hell of that broccoli. <laughs> it's got all those tasting points, right? It's crunchy, mm -hmm. it's sweet, it's got soft chewiness from the cranberries. It's, it's all got, the notes. it's all of it. It's sweet, it's sour, it's just plain delicious. I know you're gonna love it. I know your family's gonna love it. I think that your kids are gonna love this and I hope that you give it a try sometime soon and I hope you do love it. Let me know down below if you try it and let me know if you love it. So, until next time, I'll see ya.